guys, so as you can tell I'm back from holiday all tanned and lovely with no makeup on. Um, it was a really good holiday, really really good. Went to Kos in Greece for a week with my boyfriend and just got back like two days ago so I've been in no videos for a while. Um, I think that's it really, I don't really want to talk about my holiday too much because we've got like, exciting news because something came on the internet from eBay and I'm really excited while I was away and look yeah, Snow Fairy. Ah, I'm so happy it came. I just oh, love the smell ever since I got that little sample. Oh, it smells like candy. Can't wait to use it. Because I don't use it on my body, I use it on my hair and it smells like candy floss. Oh I'm so happy it came. And it's got those little iridescent sparkles that are in Glitterbug as well. And I use it on my hair, not my body, so hopefully it'll stick to my hair. My hair will be all sparkly. be nice and pretty. But anyway, um, back to... Oh, so I've got hair in my mouth. Talking about my holiday. Um, all of the lush stuff that I took away with me, I'm going to talk to you about now. Basically, I don't... Well, I never thought I did. I never thought I burnt on holiday, because I always go a nice brown colour. But this holiday, I didn't really use a lot of sun cream, because I didn't think it was as hot as it is, because the island I went to, it was really windy. So you never really get hot enough to think, oh, I need sun cream. I know you want to put it on anyway, but I just never did. Um, and I got quite burnt, and the two products that I took, were, no, the, sorry, I took three products with me. I took the, um, the Flying Fox shower gel and used that as a shampoo. So my hair's not a jasmine the whole time, it's so nice. Um, I took the Sugar Babes Sugar Scrub and I mixed it in a little yellow pot. I don't know where that is. In a little, ye little, a little yellow pot. And I bought a sponge when I was over there and used that and just scrubbed it on. And I also took porridge soap. Now, the Flying Fox is really nice in my hair. My hair was nice and soft whenever I came out of the pool or anything. But the Sugar Babe and the porridge soap was just too much. I thought it would be really good to exfoliate for the first three days of my holiday so that my dry skin would come off and like anything that was peeling so I'd get a nice even tan and all of like but basically it was, I took both of the exfoliators because I just thought it would be good for my skin but I never thought I burnt and this holiday I did and I, <laughs> I didn't take anything else that I could wash with so I ended up using the flying fox for everything because I tried to use the sugar scrub and it hurt too much to use because I was so sunburnt and I tried to use the porridge soap and I could only use the bit that had no porridge in it so I didn't end up exfoliating the whole holiday so that's just a word of advice to you don't take exfoliating products yeah you can take them obviously I'm not telling you never take them but just be aware that <laughs> take other stuff as well because you'll, you'll probably burn if you do go on holiday and you think about taking them and you won't be able to wash yourself properly because that was just horrible from holiday trying to <laughs> wash myself with exfoliating things that had little beads in it and it just really hurt um, what else did I take? I think that was it actually, I think that's all I had to say today but I'm going to go and have a shower now and use my snow fairy um, but I'll probably be uploading more videos next one might be a Primark haul from what I bought for my holiday um, because I haven't really bought that much Lush, but in two weeks it's my birthday and everyone who's been like, well, what do you want for your birthday? I've said Lush, so hopefully I'll just get a massive haul of Lush stuff of all the, the gift boxes and things. I already know that I'm getting three gift boxes, um, so I'll come and show them to you. My birthday's on the 28th of July, this is just a bit of a fellow. My birthday's on the 28th of July um, and on that day I'm going to Barbars in Liverpool on Fleet Street, which I've booked out for the night. Which I can't wait. So if any of you, I know this is really weird, but if any of you are in Liverpool, pop down, come say hi. Why not? <laughs> it's free to get in. And you get free shots of the door, you get free champagne, so just come in. Um, on Saturday, I'm going out to Destiny and Leet in Ellesmere Port, which I can't wait. But most of you probably won't know where that is, but that's what I'm doing. It's basically a massive club. Um, and then on the Saturday, I'm going out to Chester for a meal. And then... Um, that night I'm going out and around Chester as well, it's because I'm turning 18 so I'm just basically going to drink the whole weekend and then on Sunday I probably won't be able to get out of bed um, but Snow Fairy might help me wake up, maybe um, oh, I can't wait to use this, if any of you have used this tell me if there's anything you can do with it because I found out, like I just used to use the shower gel as a shower 
like scrub basically, not a shower scrub, like shower, shower soap. And then um, when I found out you could use it for your hair, I was so excited that I could smell like jasmine. <laughs> but I haven't really heard of anything else that you can do with um, shower gel. I just say shower gel for body and hair. But if anyone knows any other uses for it, like um, I used to mix it with that sugar scrub in that little pot that I made and it used to smell like jasmine that was with the flying fox. So yeah, if any of you know anything like that, can you let me know? Because it'd be quite cool to try any things. I also had a bath cocktail last night when I got in, because it's so nice just to have a nice bath after holiday. Um, I shoved everything in it, everything that I had in these little purple bags. <laughs> there was bearded lady, blah blah blah, um, marba, blah blah blah, which I'd never liked the smell of really. There was um, fox and the flowers. Then there was those two little um, free bath bombs that I had that time that someone sent me on eBay. Um, sorry, I'm just itching. I've got mosquito bites everywhere. Um, and I had a bath in that last night. It's not quite nice, actually. All I could smell was mince pies, so because I used the Glog shower gel on my face, on this little sponge that I bought. It's not in here. But I bought a little sponge on holiday because the island that I went to is like famous for sponges. So I bought a natural sponge and it was so nice. It's just the right size for your face. And I used it and my face smelled like a mince pie yesterday. It was so nice. Kind of like warming up as well because when you get home from holiday, you know, you're always freezing. And it was nice just to feel like at home as well. But also my parents have gone away for two weeks now. So I've got a free house for two weeks. And I've got nothing to do. So I thought I'd try and apply for a job in Lush in Chester. And I've sent in my CV and um, like a covering letter on the internet but they sent me an email back saying you have to take the letter into the shop so hopefully I'll get to Chester sometime this week and try and apply for a job there and hopefully I'll get it I'm just really hoping that I do if I tell them that I talk about it on YouTube a lot then hopefully they'll be like yeah go on we'll give you a job so I'm just really hoping that I get one I'll keep you updated on that though um, I think that's everything that I wanted to talk to you about I'm just trying to look around and see if there's anything else um, the makeup. Oh, the makeup that I took away with me. I know it's probably going to be about Lush and things, but um, I took this Urban Decay palette away with me. This is my boyfriend bought it for me for Christmas, and it's just one of the best makeup palettes I've ever had. Usually, I don't use a lot of the I don't use a lot of the colours in the palettes that I have. Um, but in this one, they're just really bright colours. I know quite a few of you know Urban Decay, and this blue, the um, piece, is really really bright. So what I usually do is put um, just a line of it underneath my eye, like an eyeliner of blue, and it looks really nice. And just the browns at the bottom are also really good as well to take it on holiday. What are they called? Underground, Scratch and Shag. Um, and there's Honey at the top as well. These are all by Urban Decay. And they're really good for taking on holiday because they're quite bronze colours and they've all got specks of gold and glitter in them. And they're just really nice to put on, just, well obviously as eyeshadow. It's really good because it makes you look a lot more tanned. And also, this is another thing that I want to rave about. This is Collection 2000 Glam Metallics Coloured Liquid Eyeliner. And it's a little gold tube like this. Can you see it? Yeah. A little gold tube. And it's waterproof like mad. I'll do it on my hand. Wait. Like, last year I used it and it wouldn't come off for about two days because it's so creepy. I was in the pool trying to scrub it, it was on my arm as well and it comes out a kind of shiny colour it's really nice to use on your eyes though, I usually do like a line across the top or just one across the bottom or something and it comes out and it stays on for the days and days no matter how much you scrub at it it's just really waterproof and it's really good to use, I definitely recommend that and that's by Colour Co Collection 2000 and I've also got the um, Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Eyeliner, I didn't like that as much because it didn't really give as much of a colour. It was more just sparkles, which I love. I love glitter. I'm kind of like Kesha in the way that I love glitter. But um, I didn't like the sparkly one as much as I did the gold one. And this is number seven high shine. I bought um, some mascara and some foundation from no, from number seven. And if you bought that, I don't know if any of you have seen it in Boots you get um, a free little gift bag and I thought like there'd be nothing in there really but there's a really good mascara and you get loads of little um, day creams and stuff which is really handy to take on holiday I got this the day before I went and like cleanse and care there's just toner and day cream and exfoliator and other little things like that and I got this free lip gloss I love lip gloss but I've never really had like enough money to just spend it on a really nice lip gloss but this is so nice 
It's from Collection 2000. No, no, it's not. It's from Number Seven. It's High Shine and it's got Sun Protector Factor 15 in it as well. And I love this. I don't know what it's called though. I don't know if it has a name because it's free. No. Just High Shine Collagen Boosting and Moisturising Gloss that glides for the voluptuous shine. And it's just really nice. I've used it on holiday loads and it's really nice. But that is actually all I've got to say now, otherwise I'm going to run out of time. Sorry for babbling a bit and this is a bit of a random video. But um, anyway, I hope you've all had a good week and hopefully I'll speak to you soon. Bye!